Welcome back to the campaign. In the last episode, we fought some crazy uh, scarecrows possessed by um, Porneth, the evil mage they discovered living in the windmill. They had a big battle, and they barely made it out with their lives before they were threatened once again by the evil Corneth. All this taking place on the island of Lesser Alertos, while they try to solve the mystery of the evil scarecrows attacking the community. For this episode, I'm using my golden dice. Ooh, shiny. Ooh the golden, golden dice. dice. You are all uh, a bit injured, and you are sitting uh, in this cornfield in the middle of the night, Wait, surrounded let me, by let, let me stop you there. You said a bit yeah, injured? He is at one you, HP. I'm at one health. <laughs> Is that I, one am I am more than a stuff. bit injured. <laughs> we're now back in this cornfield. It is now quiet as you're surrounded by your vanquished hay piles from those possessed scarecrows. I say, uh, can can anybody heal me? Can I throw a flask of holy water onto him since he's related to God? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you could no. do that, but it would not heal him. You just be basically throwing a bucket of water at him. <laughs> was where you were, Chris? Was it like completely empty, or were there other structures, or do we not know? You did see there was a giant sigil circle drawn on the ground, a summoning circle of some kind. I don't know if I want to sleep there, though. I don't know if that's a. Okay, we, we, want to, we want to like, sleep you... there. Can we take the papers and stuff out of the windmill? Yes. Uh, yeah, them, sure. To take them with us. Yes. You're right next to the windmill, so you can just pop in there and you grab yeah, yeah. Pop in, okay. grab the Yeah, we take all the evidence from in there. If yeah, you're looking for dead people, might I suggest going to the graveyard or temple? We should do that. Should go to the graveyard. Go to the temple. I think we should go to what that we find a circle. fucking sick ass guy in the temple. I think we should we investigate like a fucking like fucking person like Brady we that's could. related to God and fucking <laughs> raise maybe him. Maybe they can kill me. might have I was Wait, gonna say they I might think, have a heal shit. I think we should investigate that circle first. Yes, we definitely will. Uh, you, oh, you, you can take add it all? sheet of resurrection uh, spell instruction, or yeah. actually like necromancy instructions. How to build a possessed scarecrow. My favorite YouTube video. Yeah, that's that's coming up next on the Gargle Snack channel. We're gonna build possessed scarecrows and set them loose. Uh, we're gonna investigate the sigil circle. Pretty easy to make your way back through the cornfield over to the sigil circle. Uh, yeah, it is back to the right. Mm -hmm. uh, since you brought the sheet of paper along with you, you can recognize that a lot of the symbols are the same, and it matches very clearly with the instructions written on it. Uh, this is where all of the skeleton, all of the uh, scarecrows, must have been animated from. We do an arcana check to learn. Would we not know more? Sure, I'll yeah. do an arcana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna know a lot more. All right, with your combined knowledge, you look at this arcane circle. And with your knowledge of magic, you are able to determine how it works. And more importantly, you know how to destroy it. Yeah, you have to just draw a few runes to cancel out and destroy the circle. Wait, so can we do that now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to draw right. out the runes and the try crystals. to cancel out the crystals. You you gather up all the crystals and you put them down. Brandon and I both got 18. All right, well, you successfully got dispel 10. the circle. It's, it's not too hard. <laughs> Breaks apart. And you can feel a great evil leave this place. I think we should go to the temple now because maybe someone Let's go to the temple. Me. And then we'll go to the graveyard. And then maybe we take a long rest. Or you, you go back into town, you are not harassed because you've, defeat, you've defeated the scarecrows. You make it back to town, you see the familiar lights and sounds of everyone. Uh, and you make your way over to the temple. Give a little knock on the doorway. It's a big stone building with nice, nice architecture, and a rather short uh, human opens the front door, and they're wearing um, the same order outfit that um, you are wearing, except it's more like uh, acolyte instead of it's as high peasant. ranking as yours. Oh, hello there, weary travelers. My name's Kaplan. Welcome to the uh, welcome to our temple. What can I? Uh, how can I help y'all? Well, uh, this mother truck needs healing. Hi. <laughs> oh, of course, come on in, come on in. Happy for uh, you, you, you to take a little, uh, take a little nap here, take a little sleep, take a little, take a little resty time, you know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna be. We, doing don't, that. we don't really have time for that right now. Okay. I mean, your decision. Can I? Uh, can I help you with anything? 
Uh, Could we get taken to a grave, perhaps? Like, well, of course, the, um, the graveyard uh, is, is just, just out back. Let me take you there. And he goes over and he takes a little a little brass key out of his pocket. He unlocks the back door and he walks out into a little gated garden in the back of the temple where there's various uh, tombstones. Can I do like a like a check on him to see because I'm part of the order to see if he's like legit? Yeah, sure. Give me an insight legit. check. Make a religion check and an insight check. A 18 on religion and a 19 on insight. You can tell he's very much part of the order. Like, he clearly, all the outfit is correct. Uh, the mannerism is, is about right. He's he's following procedure, as, as, as you would expect someone would. Uh, but he also seems nervous. Like, very much like he's concerned. Like, maybe I, I'll ask him, like, what seems to be causing him some, some uh, anxious feelings right now. Oh, you picked up on that. Well, you see, uh, some a couple of days ago, some no good rotten ne'er do well uh, broke into the graveyard and, and defouled some graves. We might have a little, some, uh, little lead on that. Yeah, we might know who that guy is. Yeah. Uh, oh, you do. Th- that would be that would be great if you could bring <laughs> peace to the land, great heroes. We may have already done that. Well, zippity doo I hope you did. But there could be more. We don't know. Well, um, how can I help you? You want to look around the graveyard, or? Yeah, we'll, yes. we'll look around. We'll look around the graveyard. We okay, you went to a windmill. There was some uh, blood. Yes. There was some blood that we found related to uh, creating scarecrows. So we want to see oh, no. maybe if we could track that back to a grave here. Oh, dearie me. Well, um, I do hope you uh, do hope you can do things, but I'm I'm afraid of the sight of blood. I I I can't be a part of that. Okay, makes me nervous. Oh, piss my pants! Yeah, he awesome. still appears very nervous, just like in general, like he's like, God. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he's nervous because of me, or if he's nervous because of the things that are happening. Uh, I think with a 19, you can tell he's specifically nervous of the three of you. Okay, so he's nervous of us probably be, maybe because I don't know. That's interesting. Oh, All three. Like he's concerned, concerned that your presence is here. Oh, has it been a while since like? Maybe he thinks Why that the guy is going to teleport to us. Yeah. That's true. Can okay. I ask this guy if he has anything to heal with, like any potions or healing spells? No. Uh, um. Surely, uh, I got some soup. Soup. All right. I got some. That's real good. Uh, I made it earlier. Okay. Chicken noodle. I'll try it. And fish. Can I see if it's uh, poisonous? I don't think this guy's gonna try and kill me, but if he does, that's I'm kind of funny. The I wanna, soup. Wanna... Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to make you make a nature check on I like the soup? How, I like how we're just sus of everybody. Thirteen. It's soup. Fish <laughs> and chicken. Fish uh, and that's chicken. The best noodle. explanation I'll, ever. I'll, I'll it's take soup. It. I'll take it. He hands you a little wooden bowl with the soup in it. Uh, it's clearly not magical soup. It's just soup. This won't heal you any faster, but it does taste pretty good. Fuck me. It also has some corn in there. Um, it's got some corn in there. It's got some fish. I wonder where that corn came from. <laughs> you sure it's not corneth? Nah, it's just corn in the soup, dude. There's, there's corn an entire cornfield here. Uh, we're investigating the, the graveyard now. The okay. graveyard. Give me an investigation check, whoever's uh, looking around the graveyard. We'll all, we're all look around. around. Yeah. We're all looking Copeland around. Copeland is joining you. Okay. Investigation check. Oh, we're all three. <laughs> got a Nat six. 20, baby. Let's go. This is investigating. <laughs> yeah, I am. Hell yeah. Me and got a Nat 20. <laughs> me and Brandon are just like, wow, Wayne, it's Graves. Me and Wayne's <laughs> are just looking at. You don't really know I, what you're I, looking at. You see, I picture me but, and Wayne are like walking around, being like, like laughing at like funny names or something. Of people that were yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, there's someone named like funny... Dopey Peterson. <laughs> I'm like, like I was like, someone named I like, like, like on the shoulder. I'm like, hey, look at this guy's name is Dopey. Uh, <laughs> can I? Can no, I there, there's someone named like Long Weenus. <laughs> you with your nature prowess from living out in the woods, immediately oh, recognize yeah. which graves have been dug up recently because of the overturned dirt. Oh shit. You can tell that it is various. Oh. All of them are order members, and you've 
discovered that whoever um, that, that whoever dug up these bodies specifically targeted former order members. That rat bastard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that rat bastard, you. What do you do now? Um, you still have the opportunity to rest at some point if you look for some. We rent out like a hotel at like a. Do you think we could like dig in? up their graves and see if there's anything down there? You have a shovel. Oh wait, shovel I can there. cast a spell though. I have mold earth. You do some molding of the earth, and it opens up to reveal the coffin, which has been bashed open, like with a big hammer. And you see the 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 body in there is of a former priest. But you can see it has visibly, after death, been cut open into and had several uh, bits removed. And as you see on the instruction scroll, there are all the parts from the instruction that were needed to uh, be taken and used. Uh -huh. Doesn't really tell us much. Mm -hmm. Could I investigate the uh, wounds and see maybe how they were cut out or something? Like, maybe find out what sure. tool or maybe some insight on that? Yeah, sure, make an investigation check. <laughs> oh, 19. 19? You yep. recognize these striations. Occasionally in order, and there have been like ceremonies performed by the order itself involve um like a ritual like a ritual blade. You have yeah. some like 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 swords on display that are kept in some temples. This was made with one of those. Like someone took an or took use the cuts were made by a weapon from within the order. Mm. Is it an order member though, or is it Anyone who took a black one. Could do is that. it that priest that gave me soup? Can can I go mm -hmm. get him and ask him if he knows anything about this? Yeah, sure. What do you say to uh, uh, what's it called? Copeland? Yeah, that's his name. I say, hey, you. What's going on here? Uh, yeah. What, what, what do you need, sir? What's going on here, buddy? Oh, I don't know. I've I've just been running the uh, running the temple to these, and some something happened in the backyards late at night. I don't like so, to go out there, but it's creepy and scary and spooky. So you haven't noticed during the day that the graves are just being dig dug up, and you haven't told anybody about it? Well, nothing's happened during the day. It only happens at night, and I'm too scared to go out there at night because of the scarecrows. You're telling me you wouldn't hear it, though? I'm always hiding under the covers. <laughs> you That's little bitch. That's kind of sus. Real good excuse. Real good excuse. <laughs> little bitch. Sus. I do an insight to see if he's telling the truth. <laughs> Seven. You can't get anything from him. He's just like a big nervous boy, like he always has been. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we, we asked him if, we sure. find, if there's any places he thinks would be good for us to go rest for the night in safety. Well, there's plenty of places in the town to go rest. You need I to mean, take a big old <laughs> snooze, big old nap time. We, we or you go could back. stay here, I've got a spare room right upstairs. Yeah, that's nope. not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice spare room. We don't got roaches or nothing. I don't believe that. I'm not one bit. They fix the Elmore soup. I hate to see another order member not uh, getting great bored. <laughs> It'd be really funny if we're completely sus of this guy and he's absolutely doing nothing wrong. He's just really <laughs> just a little bitch. <laughs> he probably is. Probably uh, is just a little bitch. We, 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 we should go talk back to that uh, that fish guy. You go back to the I forgot about the fish, uh, the fish guy. guy's yeah. end would be closed by now. You'd be able to talk to him in the morning. Oh. We well, don't know where I, he lives. I, I don't think you know where he lives. Does the priest know where he lives? Um uh, uh, Fishman? Yeah, he lives on he lives on uh, second street, just up that way, down the road to the right. But uh, I don't know why you would want to go talk to him. He's kind of a weird guy. I don't I don't really <laughs> trust him. He's always like diving into lakes and eating fish with his bare teeth. I wouldn't hang out with him. Mean, I mean, that's pretty cool to me. Yeah, I thought that's <laughs> neat. All right, you do you. All right, why, don't we, why don't we just stay here for the night? Oh, lovely! I'll uh, I'll fix yeah, you we'll up some rooms. He goes away. He goes on upstairs. Uh, wait, says, wait! Can I? Me. I have detect thoughts. Can I cast detect thoughts on him? Yeah, I think you can. You can see surface thoughts by casting the spell, but I, in order to see deeper thoughts, you have to. He has to make a save. Okay, so I'll cast that then. Are you trying to see deeper thoughts or none? Yeah. That is a nap one. Crip one. His nerves got the better of him. Damn. And you can be so fucking feel nervy. So vividly, the second you probe into his thoughts, you see memories of the cornfields 
the wardrobe, the rituals, the digging, the blood. You see yourselves in his memory, him watching you from the cornfields as <laughs> his, as his scarecrows We're emerge out. to attack you. Uh, and you I've... see the one thought that he's picking around in his head. I am Cornet. I'm gonna, I figured no, he might I be, figured but he I, was gonna be, but I didn't want to say anything. We need to get out of here. Corneth. We need wait, to get out no, of here. No, no, wait, wait, no, no, we're no, sleeping no, no. here. No, we're not sleep. No, we're not sleeping here. He knows, but he knows I'm one health. He's gonna try and kill me in, in his sleep. Yeah, we're you not. Guys Come up yeah, shut yeah, up. We'll, we'll go upstairs and we'll hang out upstairs. Oh, we'll say, like you could... based on your arcana check, even how low it was, you can tell he's a pretty, like you can feel the magicness coming off of him now that you're thinking about it. Fuck and me, it's dude. A bit concerning. I just need rest. <laughs> Would, wait, wouldn't me and uh, Vogler, we wouldn't know that? What the result of his like, deep looking? What all yeah. braid all uh, Wayne Storm's like deep looking? So we still think that he's like being nice yep. and offer offering us. A Unless you're sleep. suspicious of him. I was sort of suspicious, but so far it seemed like he was good. So I was. That was probably about the same as Braden, I guess. So. It's honestly what you do because if me and we're still, I'm still, I'm still like, like yeah, I'm still like, like come yeah, on, know, let's let's just go to sleep. sleep. I'm. I'm it's like, kind of just on, up let's to just you now. Sleep, Wainstrom. Like, we're we're all tired. He's offering us a place to sleep. We should just go to sleep. No, because if I sleep here, this guy's gonna fucking murder me. Are there any other high-ranking officials that I forgot about that we met before, or no? That would be able to help You've us. You've met before. Yeah. None here. This is a small town, and this is the only temple here. Could we like leave the temple and try to find somewhere else to sleep? You could be like, or like, tell him that we want to. Uh, that we want to go talk to Fishman because we thought he was funny earlier and we wanted to see if he has fish. I was going to say, why don't you go back to the Fishman? Yeah, wait, yeah why, don't, why don't we say that we wanted to see if he had any fish because we we were, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we wanted You're hungry. Fish. You're hungry for fish. Yeah. You told him that? I, I, I'm like, come on, he's got soup here. We could just sleep here. Yeah, come up, come up to my rooms. Have some soup. It's There could be scarecrows out there. You never know. I tell him, I ain't afraid of shit. I want my fish. A little dangerous there, buddy boy. I like to live on but, the wild uh, side. It's your decision, your decision. I, I, I can't do I'm anything about that. I can only advise you. I'll tell him that we, we might be back later, though, for, for some rest. Oh, of, of, of course, of course. Um, would you like me to accompany you? or? I'll be all right. Okay. Thank you, though. Uh, we, I'll, we, I'll, we appreciate I'll, the uh, the hospitality. Great, I'll, I'll see you later. All right, and then we leave. You head out of the dark. We head to the fish guy's house. You head to the fish guy's house. You knock on his door. Um, until a very tall triton woman opens the door, and she says, Um, hello? What the f- Who are you? What are you doing here this late at night? Are you all right? Uh, not really. <laughs> no, not really. What, what's wrong? Are, are you friends of Bob? He mentioned he yeah. met some adventurers at work I mean, today. Yeah, we know yes. Bob Fishman. That's our we guy. We know Bobby boy. Well, 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 come on in then. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of, it's a kind of a comfy uh, little, little shack, very nautical themed on the inside. Um, but it's, a, it's like a comfy little house on the edge of town. Okay. Uh, and there's this big brown leather chair that Bob is just <laughs> fucking passed out in, positively snoozing. And you see, uh, presumably, his wife go over and kind of wake him up a little bit. Says, hey, uh, honey, honey, uh, there's some people here to talk to you. He goes, oh, oh, you guys from the market. How the, how the investigation go? Uh Good and bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! One. What uh? What went down? So essentially, uh, we fought a bunch of scarecrows. I'm about to die, and the guy that's spawning. Oh, you look like shit. Yeah, and the guy that's creating the scarecrows is the priest. <laughs> a priest? Uh, yep. 
Over I'm four. also I'm I'm I as surprised as fish and as she, Bob and, is. Yeah. I'm and he, also and like he was really trying to surprised. get us to stay there for the night, and I don't want to die. That guy's like an actual straight up wizard, dude. He was like, he he's like casting spells. He was like one of the strongest people on the island. I don't. That's concerning. And I'm like, I'm, we left. <laughs> I voice might not show it because of my my kind of weird voice, but I'm genuinely concerned right now. Like I'm actually emotionally distraught. I don't I think I'm gonna tell you. I can tell with your face. You look concerned. Uh, I think we'll take you want to stay the night here? I got can a we? Can we? Yeah, sure. Do you think you'd be able to, to keep watch in case anything happens? You could wake us up. I'll uh, I'll keep watch. He stands up and he goes over and he picks up his harpoon and he like a like a harpoon launcher. Jesus, the guy's and, fucking loaded. I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch over you. This is a good decision. We'll, we'll have to pay him handsomely after. If we ever get a ship, we're coming back and recruiting him for the crew. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, how you, had, you a, like how we had Dwayne back in the Yeah. Alright, so do well, we, long, we long rest here? Long rest, yeah. We long rest. When we wake up, should we go sneak back into his place? When we wake up. Uh, Wait, can we like pay the Fisher guy again? Can we give we him, some, him some gold for keeping us the night? I can get. Why don't we each give him like two? Like two gold? Yeah, uh, yeah, two gold. Is immensely grateful. He's like, thank you, so so generous. I give him. I give him two as well. I give him two. Yeah. He's delighted. Yeah, he waves you off, and his wife also waves you off and says, "Good luck." Yeah, All good right. luck. All right, and then we. I guess where do we go? What do we do now? Can we sneak? Should somewhere? we go to the temple? I like sneaking around. Oh wait, can I give you like I'm not gonna actually say it all because you guys already heard it. But while we while we uh, were up in the morning, we I gave you guys a briefing of everything that I saw and, and understood and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we also gave the fisherman and people that we gave him a briefing of everything that happened. Lord. Some of you guys are up to date now. Should we go back and try to fight him? Wait, do we think that we could? Is there somewhere like a shop that we could go? To like buy wanna, armor or buy. I was like, don't we want to get like shit to fight in? Yeah, there's like, plenty like, of. Uh, or buy like health potions. Yeah, can we go to a armor? You can go back to the market. market. You head over to the market, walking along. You get to this market, and you see there's different various uh, stands. You see the fishmonger stand. There's also there's a blacksmith, uh, and there's an alchemist. I'm gonna go to the blacksmith and see what he has. You go to the blacksmith, there's an Arab copper there with uh, brown wings. Uh, he's very muscled, and he says, Hey, dude, what can, I, what can I make for you? I need some armor, buddy. All right, I can get you some armor. What kind of do you want? What you proficient in? I will say armor is very expensive. Okay, I have no clue where my proficiencies are. It says religion and persuasion, but I don't think that's... Oh, you are not proficient in any armors, that's why. Oh. Nice. Because you're a you're a you're a, you're, a, you're a you're a sorcerer and they don't really wear armor usually. Ah. But you could still definitely buy potions. Go over to the alchemist. There's another um, uh, Aracakra in there. This one has like a white uh, feathers, and they were wearing big glasses, and they say, mm -hmm. "Hello there." Welcome to my alchemy store. What would you like to buy? I need to to get my armor up, <laughs> and maybe some some healing or health potions yeah. because I don't know I don't. if I can look at my hmm, take a look here. I've got okay. a wide variety of uh, healing potions if that's what you're looking for. That could be good. Yeah, that's probably uh, that's probably all. That's what I mainly want to think is going to be in your uh, in your price range. No discount for the order trying to save the town? Oh, fuck, you're with the order? Uh, can you give him a persuasion check? Sure. All right, I recognize that armor. Or that uh, outfit. Um, 22? Uh, you know what, buddy? For a member of the order, <laughs> half off. Good old healing potion. That'll run you, with the discount, 25 gold. I don't have that much gold. Sorry, man, this shit's expensive. <laughs> what if I use the charm person on him? 
<laughs> to get him to give me it for free. <laughs> um, that might be a crime. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Should I buy it? What do you guys think? Should I buy it? Or what would it do? Yeah, what does it do? I ask him what it does. What it do, what what is it do? Yeah, uh, your common healing potion gives you two d four plus two health back for twenty five gold. Shit's expensive. I didn't even not. That's that not worth. Do that much? I feel like that is not worth. You choose not to buy anything. Yeah, I say thank right. you anyway, but I'm I I can't afford that right now. Cheers, dude. Good luck with saving the realm. This bitch really won't give me shit for free when I'm about to save his whole life. Yeah. That's that's economics, dude. Yeah. I feel like we need to tell some other people about the priest thing. Who's the governor? Can we talk to the governor? Uh, governor... Go the governor Timmy? Yeah. Yeah, you can talk to... You can try and talk to Governor Timmy. Wait, but what if he's also bad? What if, what if he's in on it? That would not be what good. You don't okay, know. fuck. He probably is. Never mind, we don't tell him. Fuck that shit. Do we right, wanna, what do you guys want to do? Go Should we go fight, back to the temple? Do we want to fight the, the guy? I, mean, I don't think we'd be able to fight him, but we can go try to talk to him. I think we should. I feel like I we could fight him and win. I don't know. I feel like we can fight him. It's just one dude. It's not like he can. It's not like six different. Yeah, but we don't. Yeah, but we don't want to. We don't want to kill him though, because we need to keep him for like information. Yeah, I feel. We just need to trap him somehow. Or we could just kill him. You also know that he can't create more more uh, scarecrows. Yeah, yeah. He can't. All right, we go back to the temple. We go back to the temple. We don't. We don't initially. We make a plan before to sneak attack him. We make like a little signal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and, you're ready and actually we, to attack him as he's aggressive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but also just in general, we might just sneak attack him. But we're gonna act as if like nothing's wrong. We just tell him that we went okay. to we went to the fish guy's house and then we didn't feel like coming back because we were tired. So we yeah. went to you approach. We, went, we just slept there. Yeah. You approach the doors to the temple. They're closed. What do you do? Knock. Um. I'll knock. knock, I, can, knock. I, can I sneak around though? You want to sneak no, around? Is there like windows or something to the? Uh, yeah, I'm, there like... there is some windows, but the shades are all drawn from the inside. Block. Could I like Could I, climb like, up? Could I like climb up to the the second floor window level? Um, you're a genasi. I believe you can use levitate on yourself, so you could levitate oh, yeah. up to the second story. Window. Yeah, I'll just levitate up. I so keep you, wanting you to my so in your wind power within. Your hair swoops up a bit with the power of the air, and you float up, and you peer through the window, and you see his room. You can see into the room where, um, where I guess you would know him now, uh, Corneth lives. It is in utter disarray. It is like there is mold growing on the walls. The bed is in shambles. Everything in the room appears to be just completely rotten and decayed, like an actual swamp had been living in there. Everything's rot. Okay. Even the floorboards are like starting to be eaten through. Do I not I'm see him? There? He's not up there. Yeah, I land back down and report and that. No one's responding to the door. I go, hmm. I've heard of things like that before. Door. Okay, I tell them about the rot. And, uh, okay, so essentially, Daniel was telling me okay. that about the rot, and the right. rot is uh, like it's the enemy to the um to the order. It's a mutating infection that corrupts reality itself. It rots, decays, and corrupts everything in its way, and that it is slowly spreading. And currently, mm -hmm. if you look at the map, um, the area that's called the Rotting Isles, um, mm -hmm. all of those islands there, they're, they're all rotten. And they're all decaying oh. and, and rotting. And I think that that's what the rot is that you're seeing in his room. So maybe he works in his an enemy of the rot. So now that you've learned, you've seen the state that this temple is in. What do mm -hmm. you do? Can we like break um, in and go in? Yeah, can we like break in? You give the temple door one solid kick, and it cracks open pretty easily. The lock was very weak. Okay. And there, I kicked it. in the center of the temple, you see the priest, no longer in his priest outfit, but instead wearing those brown robes. You saw. He her. knows. He fucking knows. And he's sitting there, kneeled on the ground with just, not like visceral, but like these 
fleshy tendrils that have grown out from the floor all over the walls as his head is down and his arms are up in almost like a reverent pose in front of this just like disgusting mass growing out of the floor which you would recognize as the rot being raised onto this island and he's whispering to it but as he hears the door open he lifts his head up his back is facing to you you hear him say I knew you'd come. You knew me before as Corneth, but I am more than that. I am an agent of the right, and you will not leave this place alive. <laughs> Roll the initiative. I, 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 I comment on him and I go, I, I knew this already. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> and, and I go, I go. Everybody says that. Don't worry, we'll still be alive. Do we? And, uh, you will be. Yeah. And as you see him stand up and turn around, his eyes glowing with a yellow light, and you see his face has partially peeled back in a ghastly expression. And he says, "Then, punish." And we will do this fight next time. Next <laughs> Christmas. That's where we're ending it for today. Damn it. Yep. <laughs> right, that'll be a good pickup. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a good pickup. Tune in yeah, next time. Where right. we're going to face off against Rotten Boy. Oh, yeah. It's oh, about yeah. time. I'm oh, fucking ready. I'm fucking ready. I got my Rotten fist on. <laughs> Rotten Boy. <laughs>